Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel for today's video with the new release of the early access version of Soul Mask, which we're super excited about. I've got a video for you. I'm going to be showing you uh, what I personally think are the best early and early mid game uh, base locations and factors I'm going to include in this is <coughs> danger levels and access to resources and how far away it is from places you would need to go to progress. So with that, let's get started and head to our first location. All right, guys, so here is our first spot. So this spot used to actually be my preferred spot um, with some updates. They've changed a few things around. So now I think there are actually better spots. But as for the perks and downsides to this spot, downside is definitely going to be the wildlife, the danger. You can see there is a jaguar over there as well as a giant alligator right here. Once you get a base established and have some walls up, you should be safe. The things are, you know, really high level here. Um, you can see they're not even level 20s which makes them not too bad, but just the fact that there's jaguars and alligators make it unsuitable for, you know, level 5. So I'd say this is more of a beast, bone, and on uh, spot. But in terms of location, you can see in order to get things like iron ore, we can go right across here and get it from this dungeon. We have access to some of the elites and stuff that are just right around here. Copper ore is just right across the river from us. Tin ore is a little bit further. And then we got more copper ore up here. And then lots of rocks and trees. And you can even see there's clay right over there. So great access to resources. Uh, in terms of danger, I'd give this probably a 5 out of 10 just because there's a lot of creatures around that are not very nice. Uh, but in terms of resources... I would probably give this one an 8 out of 10 just because it's in a really good low, uh, good spot in between a lot of resources. And then in terms of where to go, or it's like uh, progressibility, you know, being able to get from here onto the next part of the map, I would give it about a, we'll say a 6 or 7 out of 10 on that just because it is a little closer towards this side. You know, had it been way back here, then that would have been a whole heck of a lot worse to try and get over there. But it's actually not too bad. So I'd say I'd give this spot a solid, for an early to mid game spot, I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. And that, once again, is right along this river. It does not have to be necessarily this exact spot I'm at. This is just a flat part of land I like to build on. But mainly anywhere along here is going to be about even with that. So now we'll go on to the next spot. Okay, everyone. So here we are at the next location. So this location on your map is going to be this big lake right here. Or I guess it's not that big. This little lake right here. Pond, whatever you want to call it. And for this one, in terms of danger, honestly... There is one Jaguar right there, which you could always just build on this side of the pond. But other than that one Jaguar, a few boars, it is actually a relatively safe area. So I would give this uh, for danger levels. I would give this a... And when I give danger levels, I mean the higher the number, the more dangerous it is. I'd give this probably a four so not too dangerous just because of the jaguar that might spawn here uh, and then the few bush dogs and stuff in terms of resources you can see there's literally clay right here and then we've got copper ore right above us and tin ore right beneath us so this is right in between those two it's also right next to two ancient ruins where you can get green crystals and things so that is another really big benefit. So in terms of resources, this is honestly, I'd have to give it a solid 9 out of 10 for early game resources. 
because this is going to be able to get you your bronze really quickly because this is really close to both locations. It's also right on the water, so you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, kiting water or anything like that. You can also raise, you know, fish and different things as well. So really good location with that. And then lastly, in terms of progressibility, this is about even to the other one, which was up here. It is not too far off of being able to get over to this other continent where you're going to find a lot of the harder regions. So I'd give that a solid 6 or 7 out of 10 in progressibility. So overall, I would give this a solid 8 out of 10 spot. This is looking like it might be my favorite spot at the moment. Previously, I did lean towards this spot up here because this used to be tin. And so that made this spot the best between these two. But now that this is copper and this is tin, this is actually probably one of my favorite spots. So that's just one nice look for you. It actually is a fairly pretty spot as well. So now we'll move on to the next spot. Okay, guys. So here we are at our third uh, recommended base location. So for this one, we're going to be a little bit more inland than the past two spots have been. This one's going to be a little bit more suited for early, early game. You can come here uh, pretty much as low as you want because right about here is where you're going to start getting things like jaguars. So this zone should still be free of jaguars, if I'm not mistaken. Um... So it's going to be only low level enemies. Really the worst things to watch out for here are going to be the piranhas. There's not really any danger in terms of creatures around here. Some harmless capybaras and turkeys for the most part. Maybe a few boars or tapirs, but that's about it. So in terms of danger for this one, I would give it a 1 out of 10. Almost a perfect score just because piranhas can be obnoxious. So watch out if you're swimming. Other than that, there's really no danger here. Now, in terms of resources, we do have trees, rocks, and clay, which is really good. But that's all—that's what you would need up until about level 20. Once you hit level 20 and you start to unlock bronze stuff, now you have to make the trek from here all the way to here and all the way to here. So that right there, that is a bit of a trek. And that is a little bit less of a trek, but still a bit of a trek. So in that case, those ones are not going to be quite as well. So the progressibility of this spot is not as high. For low-level resources, it's just fine. You know, you got some ancient ruins pretty nearby that you can get uh, some green crystals and things from. You've got the clay, you've got the rocks and the trees. So it is good for a very early game, but only for the very beginning. After that, I would recommend moving further this way where you can start to get more of these. So for actual early mid game, which for me is between levels, I'd say 15 to 30 ish, you're going to want to be more towards this, like this spot that I pointed out here or here. Um, I've also seen people build up here. All of this kind of area is going to be where you're going to have access to most of those resources. So for this one, if we're going strictly very early game, I would give it a pretty good score. But since we're doing both early and mid, I would give this overall about a 5 out of 10 just because it's only going to be good for the very beginning. If we're going for like... Under level 15, I would give this one a solid probably 8 because it is a good location. It's not too far from things, and it's not very dangerous. It's, the only downside is, is it's not super close to some of those ores that you want to get to. So then we'll go ahead and move on to our last location for this video. All right, everyone, so here we are at our next spot. This is actually where we chose to build early game on this particular server. And so on the map, this is going to be right about here. That could be anywhere in this area. It's all pretty close to the same. 
Although if it is very early, I would recommend doing it a little bit, probably right about where we're at, because if you go a little bit this way, you will start finding anacondas and the occasional alligator. But where we are is actually pretty safe. So in terms of immediate danger, unless you actually start wandering away, the only danger you're going to find around here are going to be piranhas. Now, if you actually wander up the hill a little ways or you know, down this way to the west, you'll eventually start running into some alligators or some snakes. There's none right now. And if you go up that way, then you become part of jaguar territory. But like I said, this immediate spot offers very little actual danger, just the piranhas in the water. In terms of resources, you can see there are tons of trees around here. Uh, no shortage of rocks and you know, there's plenty of rocks and also just right down this way you head a little bit west you're gonna start finding plenty of clay as well so similar to the other spot that I just showed you this one has lots of early game resources there's also some barbarians right up the hill the scout um, which is where you can get some more resources and people and then there's also an ancient ruins here and here where you can get some crystals if you need now so for danger this one is not hardly dangerous like I said unless you go far so I'd give this one probably about a three on the danger scale and in terms of resources um, like I said we've got the early game stuff very close which is very nice however once we start hitting bronze we have to go all the way to here here for the copper and one of these two for tin so that's even further than this spot so the progressibility of this spot is very low i mean it's doable don't get me wrong like you can make that trek uh, you definitely need an alpaca it makes it so much easier it's just not fun if you were over in these areas, it's just a little bit quicker, but this is still a very safe and still a really good early base location. I would recommend using this up until you are getting ready for bronze. Once you start hitting upper teens, like around 18 or higher, I would suggest moving a little bit further down. That is just my opinion. Some people like to stay here. Um, either way is totally fine. But overall, I would give this spot probably a 5 or 6 out of 10. It's a safe spot. It's got lots of access to early game materials, just the actual progressibility. To get to bronze alone, you got to go to these spots over here. And then if you're going for iron stuff, you have to go all the way to this side, which is super far. The one good part is that this is close to the portal, which then eventually will make it easier to teleport to these but so definitely for early game spots like under level 15 so under you know beast bone everything either of these two spots is very viable but a little bit later my favorite two would probably be these ones now some honorable mentions for these ones are not going to be quite as early game um, so I'm not going to actually showcase them but if you were to build, say, along this beach here, you'd still have access to tin ore. It's a little bit of a swim, but it's no further than from here to here. And then you'd also have, you know, lots of copper ore here. And that puts you in a very progressible area because this is where you're going to end up going next. This is the second boss. This is the third boss right here. And then, you know, so on, the fourth boss. So, if you wanted to build there, the only thing is there are lots of alligators and other enemies in those areas. Wolves as well, so that's a little bit more dangerous, which is why I'm not going to showcase that. I'd recommend, once you're starting to get into bronze and have, you know, bronze weapons would be a good time. If you're to move somewhere along here, um, even... You know into a location like this where it's a little bit more chill in the middle but definitely something you would want to get up a base and be safe with because that can get very dangerous uh, so those are my recommendations 
for some early game base spots. Uh, other honorable mentions, I've seen some people like to build back here, some people like to build here. Mainly by a lot of bodies of water, you're going to see people building just because it gives you more access to fish, to um, clay, to water itself. So it makes it just a little bit simpler. I like to always look for those three things. You know, how dangerous is it? How many resources are there? And how hard will it be to progress from this spot if I want to get to the next tier? So with that, those are my recommendations. If you have any questions or any others that you really like, feel free to let me know below in the comments. If you have any other videos you want me to do, including if you want me to just do actual gameplay videos, please let me know in the comments. And please give me a like and subscribe and check out my other videos as well. And I will see you next time.